Hello, friends. It's Chop. I'm pretty involved in food culture. <laughs> well, there's, uh, I mean, there, there's queer foods now. Absolutely, is, there are. Absolutely, <laughs> there are, Will. <laughs> What's queer food? <laughs> uh, good question. No idea. Good question. <laughs> no, I not. keep reading about. It's like queer <laughs> food to me is just like a seed cake. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, wait a minute. There like was Seattle. an ad campaign during Pride from Postmates. Oh. The and bottom was, friendly diet. Yes, the bottom menu. Things to oh. eat if you're bottom. So you have a little discretion. It's fucking disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> it must be so amazing to be a bully right now. <laughs> <laughs> like you could like if you're bullying a kid, yeah, you're you're like, oh here, I got you I got you a meal that's gonna keep your poop dry because you're a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> like it just all out I don't know though but you. like because if you ever it might be really difficult because you know when you like open up a food app and you have like 7,000 options and you just get paralyzed by choice yeah like there's too many ways to bully so you just put down your phone and start crying <laughs> <laughs> well it will it will reserve it for kids who want it the most yeah the specialists who want <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who, who want the bottom food the most, or who want the no? Who want to like? Most? Who want to bully kids? Yeah, who want yeah. to bully oh, kids God. the most? Yeah. I sent you a bottom meal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Imagine like you're in the middle of class, and like Postmates comes in with your bottom meal. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like like I. It's like sports, right? You're giving like the competition. Ideas. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm sure they're already doing it. I mean, if, if 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 I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, and someone gets bullied because of my idea, if someone gets well, bullied. Gonna, if it was gonna happen eventually, and that's that's called taking accountability. You that's gotta true. pay extra though for the for the postmates person to, to wear a little Western uni- Union uniform and go ah, uh, bought a meal, bought a meal here from, uh, from yeah. Stephen Q. What if you had it delivered by like a singing telegram guy? Yes, you can combine go. delivery services and really turn this into a production. A bottom I mean, yeah, yeah. hat, <laughs> seersucker suit, straw boater hats, and your favorite bottom, uh, bottom based foods. Okay, but like, well, okay, but what is the bottom um, diet? Is it just things that uh, you know, like not a lot of rice and beans? Why do you want to know? Like, why do you want to know? Yeah, why do you want to know? Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, why are you asking? No, no, Will, why are you asking? <laughs> no, I'm just I'm curious know, about the world. I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> wait, but I, okay, I think it's high fiber. Yeah, yeah it's soluble okay. fiber and protein. That's Which, what it says wait, Here's here. what I hate about I, the fiber I, thing. Yeah. Fiber has literally equal and opposite like effects for like the individual user. Do you know what I mean? Like for some yeah. people, like, fiber fentanyl. blocks it up. Yeah. <laughs> For some people, fiber lets it pass. I, See, yeah, yeah. One I way feel to like find you're out. always trying to find the perfect balance, <laughs> the perfectly balanced bottom diet, which is highly subjective. Got to be trial and error. Yeah. Tracked. Yeah. The the video itself, the the ad itself is so what's it's so perverted because it's like it literally has the tone of like Sesame Street. Yes. Like oh, it's explain yeah. it. It, yeah. it literally has like stop motion animation of like fruits. It's literally like, hey, wearing, fucking like... gay babies. <laughs> <laughs> it's like here's the thing about like about bottom. It's like it just feels so. I mean, I guess the point is to make it to remove shame around like I don't fucking know, but it, it is just it feels so weird and perverse to me. How like it feels like a kid's video, but you're talking about anal. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit too explicitly. Like, yeah. it's well, not explicit, but it is, you know? Well, and it's so well, that condescending, like, explainer tone. Like, the, okay, mm-hmm. so here's, like, with the thing Here's the I, thing about like, your asshole. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Break My Soul, but, you know, actually comes from a long line of house music legends. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the way everyone ex- just has to explain every, I, like, I don't know. Just a really like, presumptuous like, twink, like you've never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so house music actually has a long history of. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ev- most human communication is like in front-facing camera TikTok style, <laughs> yeah. now, where someone like yeah. yeah extremely confidently explains something they're wrong about. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, World like War- and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. World War One was the first queer war. What? <laughs> Well, the first American, American. American. Pretty uh, confident. every British yeah. word, like, yeah. It's very much uh, the moment because uh, one, of the rec- one of the things, one of the millions of things that got Ezra Miller in trouble recently is he started explaining to someone that Parcheesi is Rastafarian. And, uh, 
hold a gun on them. I like that that's that's the thing because isn't his thing he just hits someone every day? He yeah. just loves hitting yeah. people. Yeah. He's an like actor. Yeah. Amazing. But um uh, as long as we're talking about Ezra Miller, though, I just want to make clear, though, um, the the children that um, he's pointing guns at, the, the mother is okay with them being in his in his. Yeah, it's fine. Care. It's don't fine. Worry about it. It's fine. Don't don't. You can't get angry. At it. Quit you be can't a, get angry. Quit being a square. You can't be Patrick, mad at those cheekbones, baby. <laughs> Patrick Sandberg had a brilliant idea for him uh, based on El- like just sending yes. him off to war. Like we do with Elvis, yes. like a PR. <laughs> Send him to you. Like a PR enlisting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just punch him. I mean, I imagine that Elvis, right, he got, he wasn't actually like in battle, right? No. No. He was just, like, he was just training. Yeah. And he yeah. probably yeah, had, he like, just went he to wasn't Germany. in a bunk bed. It no. was Ezra Miller's ready for battle. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have He's to strapped. Train. Only yeah. hand. Only, well, I mean, I guess he, I, I would, do, do we think he's a good shot or do we think he's more of a hand? Yes. We know he's a hand to hand guy, but yeah, we think yeah. he's a good shot. It would be like, uh, it would be like in binary bastards. Well, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, well, um, well, actually, I mean, this is a perfect segue because I was just talking about, you know, non-binary issues and uh, people who are way more confident than they should be appearing on video. I'm wondering, have you guys seen Jordan Peterson's latest uh, video <laughs> missive from, from the, the ethers of his mind palace or no. whatever uh, rehab facility? He's I don't keep up. We haven't, we haven't talked on the phone in months. <laughs> <and Jordan. laughs> uh, th- this, is, this, is, this isn't a new one. This is not, this is not the Elliot Page one. His new one was advice to Muslims, which is like, oh, no. okay, first of all, the idea that this guy's giving anyone advice at this period in time is like, okay, look, when the, when the 12 rules for life came out, you know, like if you needed someone, if you needed like a guy to tell you to clean your room, okay, fine. You can, you can accept that advice and move on with it. Everything that's happened to him since then and the fact that he can't stop fucking crying on camera is like giving advice to like normal like Canadian and American teenagers is one thing. But now he has advice for the Muslim world. Have you ever met a Muslim pillhead? I rest my case. <laughs> I do like the idea, though, be, that like, again, his entire thesis was that like women are like, you know, dragon chaos demons. And it's like, OK, fair. But then he didn't see that the call was coming inside of the house. And like his daughter was the main, like his downfall. It's very Shakespearean. Like, uh, you know, yeah. King Lear or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's w- and he's well, wailing that- upon the moor, just like King Lear. <laughs> <laughs> well, that like the chaos dragon stuff, like compared to what he's doing now, seems like pretty normal. Like what, he, what he's doing now, the Muslim video is like one of the most harebrained things I've ever seen him do. Okay, give me, give me, okay, the, so for, give me the run 